Hi there. Today in this video I'm going to make up four different card designs using this collection, A Taste of Spring. Now this is from the Crafty Witches. It's from one of their Book of Spell collections. This one was brought out just this year and it is Volume 1 Spring Edition. Now the whole book of spells is actually exclusive to Hobby Maker, so if you like my cards and would like the collection, that's where you need to go to purchase it from. On the book of spells collection there are four collections and then there's an insert collection. So it's quite a good value for everything you get. So on each of the collections you have toppers, you have solid papers and decorative papers and these are in A4 size and 12 by 12 size. You have inserts on each of the collections as well as one of the collections being different inserts. Um, and the inserts are different sizes to match whatever card um, size you, you're using at the time. You have borders, you have sh a sheet of flowers and leaves that match and colour coordinate with each collection. Tags and also sentiments. So, shall we begin? Just pop that out of the way. So, this is my first card. And like I said, this one's called A Taste of Spring. And you have flowers, daffodils, and a cute little chick design too. And I've cut out already, I've cut my toppers and my mats and layers out uh, just to save on time. So this is a 7x7 seven seven card that we're going to make first. So my first matte layer is going to go on there. And this one measures, this one's actually measures 17 centimeters. Then drop it down on a section. Um, this is my white card and this measures 16 centimeters. So I've taken it down a full centimeter. And my pattern paper measures 15 and a half centimetres. So I'm just going to mat and lay these together. So I'm using my white card first just to break up the pattern paper and the coloured card. Just slightly. Move that around so I'm happy with the border and then the pattern paper. Yeah, and then I'm going to attach this to my 7x7 card base. Again, just making sure that I'm happy put it's positioned on my card correctly. There you go. And then my next layer, I've just done a strip. So I've got some white card and that measures 17 centimetres by five and a half centimetres. So this will go down slightly. So, sorry, no, it doesn't make this 17 centimetres. I've done this one too, um, by five centimetres. So just mat and layer those two together. going to attach that to the card there on the left side and I forgot to get my um, phone tape out so just bear with me I'm just using the phone tape just to give 
the cards and dimension. Sometimes I had um, a small amount of glue to my phone, uh, to the phone tape there, my phone pads, just for a little bit extra security. So now I'm just going to attach that to the card base. Okay. Just make sure it's in the right position. And then I have cut out one of the circle toppers and use a circle die to cut my matte layer so just attach those together and then I also um, reprinted out the same topper and just cut out the little chick and one of the pansy flowers and I've added foam pads to the back of the chick amount of height there so I might put that there so again I've gone and cut another circle topper out and a circle mat and just going to position those where I want them so I'd my um, chick topper is just going to go over the flower topper there. I'm going to attach that one first so we get it in the right position. And then on the chick topper I'm just going to add some foam pads just down to one down one side. It's just so that it's the same height as the second layer that we put on. So I'm just going to attach that to there. It's actually overlapping all the layers. And the sentiment I've done, got for this one, I've already done a white mat for the sentiment and it says just for you on your birthday. And I'm going to overlap that just on the bottom there. So again, I'm going to need a foam pad just to keep all the layers um, in line. go and that's the first card from a taste of spring I want to once oh sorry no actually this time I remembered to print my insert out so this is one of the inserts from the collection like I said these come in all the different sizes um, for your card bases and for this I'm just going to attach um, So my, my double sided tape, I just put it on the one side. is a small card is a six by four card and um, here's a another sentiment sorry another insert 
Now we've got glue on. There you go. Um, yeah, I think. So for this, I'm going to put the sentiment, the keep saying sentiment, the insert in first. So just line that, normally line that up and get them position where I want the this side to see to, to be the right side and then I just form my card closed and then using my score wet sorry using my score pen I just go over that just to give it a nice fold Add my double sided tape. So, this is actually getting added to what would be the, the front of the card. Just that when you open it up, um, this is taken to the front. Like I said, as you open it, that bit that is nicely attached, and then just open straight up to the card. I do still have glue there, so I'm actually going to um, um, cut a flower out, and I think I'll stick a flower over that, over the mess I've made. So here's all my mats and layers. So my first layer is a solid colored card and it is 14 and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters again i'm splitting the solid color up and the pattern paper with white card so that's 14 centimeters by nine and a half centimeters and then my pattern paper is 13 and a half centimeters by nine centimeters Yeah, I'm going to attach that to the front of the card base. Just make sure it's positioned correctly and the borders are about the same. Now, my next layer, um, the colour card measures 11 centimetres by 4.5 centimetres. Now, I've got my white card at 10.5 centimetres by 4 centimetres. And then my pattern paper is 10 centimetres by 3.5 centimetres. And they will just slot together. I got some tape there. When I glue my mats together, I do pick them up to make sure I position them correctly. If I lean over, I might get my head in the camera, so it's easier just to pick them up. And just going to attach that just on the left side there. And I'm going to use my phone tape again.
I mean, if you want to keep your card flat, you don't, of course, don't have to use the phone, phone tape. And then this is my topper, so I've got a circle topper out and a circle matte layer. And then from the second, I pinned out the topper twice and I've cut just two of the little flowers out just so I can decoupage on top. place there so because we use foam pads on this we're going to use, have to use it on half the side of this topper just to get the balance right okay and then of course just need some foam pads just on the back of here Oops. Stuck to my scissors. Said it just gives a little bit of a height to the card, and then the sentiment that I've chosen is just thanks so much. So, this makes a cute little thank you card. that down the bottom there that's the second card now the next card is an 8x8 card take more bits off and this time we've gone for purples and pinks just move my layers out of the way and again I've used um, white card just to separate the solid up from the pattern paper but of course you don't need that when I cut these pieces out obviously the sort of mood I was in <laughs> so. attach the first layers first now the first layer will measure 19 and a half centimeters then the second We'll measure 19 centimetres. Let's get in the right position. And then the pattern paper will measure 18 and a half centimetres. We'll double check. Okay, I'll attach that to the card base.
and then my next layer and I've got a white strip and a solid color strip and then we're going for another white strip and one of the pattern papers and they're going to be stitched together like that just did the measurements first so I'm going to do this one across the centre like that. So the measurements for this one are five and a half centimetres by nineteen and a half centimetres, and this one will be five centimetres by nineteen and a half centimetres. And then the next one, the white card is four and a half centimetres by nineteen and a half centimetres. So this one will be four centimetres by nineteen and a half centimetres. And I'm going to use my phone tape just to raise this up onto that layer. Yep, just gonna attach that to there with the foam pads. And like I said, I'm going to just attach that straight across the centre there. to me and then I have um, a round set of toppers there so a circle um, use circle diagonals to cut these out so I've got the solid color white card and then one of the circle toppers so I'm going to attach that to my white that. And then onto the the pink mat there. might possibly go there and then this one I've gone for the purple solid colour and white card and then another circle topper And then I'm going to use a foam pad to attach this.
I have one of the circle sentiments, loving wishes, and a white um, mat layer there. No, it's just a case of uh, yeah. Sorry, it's just a case of how I decided to put this. Because I really can't remember how I was originally going to do it. But yeah, I think we'll do that like that. So this one will go first. So I need some foam pads just to help with the top there. Just because that part was raised. There you go. one first and that I'm going to put there so I'll need some foam pads on the bottom there need one more there This was just going to, to pop in there. There you go, that's the 8x8 card. And I do have a sentiment. Sentiment. I do have an insert for the inside. So just add in my double sided tape to one edge. And just position that where I want it. And there's the inside. That's, that's card number three then. So now for the fourth card, I've gone for a DL card and I'm going to make a Z, a Z fold. It's quite a few bits I've cut out for this one. So there's the normal DL card. And then what I've done, I've folded the front backwards in half and used my uh, score pen just to fold that. This is going to be a DLZ fold card. So with this one, I'll start with the inside first. So I've cut my mat and layers out like the rest of the card. So the first layer is 20, so we'll do it this way. I always go by height first. Um, so it's nine and a half centimeters by twenty and a half centimeters. So the white layer is nine centimeters by twenty centimeters, and my pattern paper is eight and a half centimeters by nineteen and a half centimeters.
So this is going to go on the inside of my Leo card. And then for some decoration on the inside, I've gone and cut a white triangle and use one of the pattern papers so this is um so yeah so this is an eight and a half square that they've then cut diagonally to make the triangle and the pattern paper measures eight centimeters I'm going to use my foam pads to give this a bit of height. And this I'm going to put in this bottom corner. Yeah. And then to write a message on, I've gone and used my circle dies and cut out a circle from white card. And that's just going to attach there, and that should be enough room to write a message. And it's also hidden by the front fold. So for the front, I have my solid paper. Just get it the right way around because of course this is it's not square. So this measures nine and a half centimeters by ten centimeters. Then my white mat measures nine centimeters by nine and a half centimetres and my pattern paper measures eight and a half centimetres by nine centimetres. attached to the front there. Now I have, um, just to bring some of the orange in, I've got a small orange layer and this measures four centimeters by nine and a half centimeters and then the pattern paper measures three and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters. And then that's just going to attach across that front fold. 
and I'm just going to use foam pads for this. And then I've got a circle topper and a circle mat layer. Yep. And I'm just going to just slightly overlap that on the edge. slightly see the overlap there and then I've got a small sentiment which I've done a white matte layer for so it's just for you and I think we're just yeah just going to attach it there so we'll just need the small small foam pad just on there just so it balances out So that's the fourth card uh, from A Taste of Spring. Like I said, this collection is exclusive to Hobby Maker um, from the Crafty Witches. Um, however, of course, all these designs can be made with any of the collections or any paper collection that you have. So there's the Z Fold card, the DL Z Fold card. And then there's the 6x4 card, um, what else? Oh, 8x8 card, and the 7x7 card that I started out with. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you like my designs, and please feel free to make any of them up. Um, and that's it. So I'll see you again soon. Have a good night. Bye.